As a Canadian living in a remote area, filing your income tax return can be quite different from filing for those living in urban settings. The Canadian government has introduced certain tax credits and deductions specifically designed for individuals residing in remote and isolated regions to ease the financial burden. I'll explore key income tax considerations for Canadians living in remote areas and help ensure you take full advantage of these benefits. The Northern Residence Deduction is a tax provision available to Canadians living in designated remote and isolated areas, known as the prescribed Northern and Intermediate Zones. This deduction provides a reduction in taxable income, catering specifically to those facing the challenges of residing in remote regions. To benefit from this deduction, taxpayers must maintain a permanent residence in these areas for at least six consecutive months. To determine if you qualify for the Northern Residence Deduction, you can visit the Canada Revenue Agency, CRA, website and review their list of eligible locations. In general, areas located above 55 degrees north latitude are considered eligible locations, but some specific places in Canada below this threshold also qualify. There are two parts to the Northern Residence Deduction that can apply to qualifying taxpayers, the basic residency amount and the additional residency amount. The basic residency amount allows individuals to claim a maximum of $8.25 per day for each day they maintained a dwelling and lived in the prescribed northern or intermediate zones. This applies to both individuals and their spouses or eligible dependents. The additional residency amount can be claimed by individuals who are the primary claimant for the northern residence deduction for their household. This amount, which is of equal value to the basic residency amount, effectively doubles the available tax savings. To qualify for the additional residency amount, at least 50% of the household's total income must be derived from employment, self-employment, or certain types of grants and subsidies in or around the prescribed zones. Due to the isolation of remote regions in Canada, the government recognizes the need for residents to travel for personal and non-business purposes, such as medical appointments and family visits. As a result, eligible taxpayers can claim a portion of travel benefits that they receive from their employer as a non-taxable benefit. In addition to the Northern Residence Deduction, you may also be able to claim a deduction for eligible travel expenses incurred for work purposes, such as attending conferences or traveling to remote work sites. Be sure to keep all receipts and records of your travel expenses to substantiate your claims. Claims. Another notable feature of the Northern Residence Deduction is the isolation factor, which takes into account the remoteness of your location. The more remote your residence, the greater the amount of the tax deduction. To determine the isolation factor, consult the CRA's prescribed zones list and the corresponding isolation factors. As a Canadian resident, the deadline for filing your income tax return is generally April 30th. However, if you or your spouse are self-employed, the deadline is extended to June 15th. Late filing can result in penalties and interest charges, so be sure to submit your return on time. To claim the Northern Residence Deduction, you will need to complete Form T2222 and Hash 8211, Northern Residence Deductions, which can be found on the CRA website, and include it with your tax return. Remember to provide all the necessary information on this form and consult the CRA for any clarifications or specific guidance. Guidance. Understanding the income tax considerations for Canadians living in remote areas ensures you take full advantage of the available tax credits and deductions. By considering the Northern Residence Deduction, travel benefits, and isolation factors, you can effectively manage your financial responsibilities while living in remote regions of Canada. Reach out to a tax professional for advice and support, especially if you are new to these deductions or have questions specific to your situation.